What's up? It's your boy F to the Z. We up in here, right here with my dog, right here, the legendary Deacon D. Frost. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we just over here chatting up and shit, and I figured I seen some shit over here that I want to discuss. And listen, um, I probably would have rubbed some people the wrong way, but I mean, that's what we do out here. We, we talk shit. That's why I have that disclaimer. You've been warned. And if certain subjects feel that, uh, you feel are insensitive or whatever, whatever, whatever. Turn this shit off right now. All right? I'm going to give you five seconds to make a decision. Because once you pass out after this five seconds, I don't want to hear shit. All right? All right, that's about five seconds. So, anyways, I see this meme right here on Facebook, right? And it's the one with Rick. He goes, he grabs the thing and you whatever, and he pulls back, and they say, Check this out. Hold on. Titties cannot make up for lack of ass, but ass can make up for lack of titties. Hmm. That is so What is your true. thoughts on this? That is so very true. That is so many. You know, <clears throat> and my ideology on the whole thing stands with the uh, the vice principal from um, prison school. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're a fan of anime and you know anything about prison school then you know that this man's ideology dates back way to the prehistoric days when the ass is the first thing you saw in a bitch. You feel mm -hmm. me? And that's what's really deep down in our nature, innate to us uh, uh, with our attraction to the ass and we take the as a secondary thing. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I, yeah, bro, I gotta agree with you 100%. She can have ass cakes all day and little itty bitties. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to flick on them nips, but I'm going to need something to hold on to. You mm. know what I mean? <laughs> when I'm giving the beat. See, I'm in the same boat. You know what I mean? See, the thing is like this. I don't necessarily think that lack of ass, titties can't make up for lack of ass. I mm. only half agree with that statement. Because the thing is, I feel it works in ratios. Like, first off, if your ass like looking like this, it's funny. It's just straight... <laughs> No ass at all. You got that straight neck to neck to calf. You know, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. I, I'm sorry. I don't care how big your titties are. I'm, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. But you know what I'm saying? <coughs> if you got a little something, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? The by all means. Hmm. If she got a nice rack. I can run with it. All right. However, on the flip side, you know what I'm saying? If she damn near flat in the front. But that ass is like, bye now. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's I'm with perfect. it. I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm with it. Like, I was talking to a chick not too long ago, who won't remain nameless. And, you know what I'm saying? We're getting a nice deep conversation in that, you know what I'm saying? Because let's, let's be honest. A lot of people don't feel um, comfortable with their body. It's just it's a thing of life, especially in this day and age. You got social media, even before social media. Back when you had these airbrush bitches on fucking like Playboy and Sports Illustrated and all that shit. Well, so you thank you. This, you know what I'm saying? Come on. Come on. Don't because blame that's social media. Because that's another thing that's bugging me lately. Like, a lot of people are fucking idiots and they blame like all society's problems on social media. Where a lot of an these problems outside are problem for an inside issue. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. But, yeah. but a lot of these problems have been around way before social media was ever a thing. It's just that you're experiencing it. You yourself is experiencing it through social media. That's why you assume social media is the problem. Listen, like, body dysmorphia has been an issue in first world societies for centuries. You should probably date it all the way back to the days of Cleopatra when they exactly. used to do, you know, just weird things to make themselves look acceptable to their mates. Of course, of course. But mm -hmm. like I said, like, listen, as long as there's been makeup, Push up bras. I mean, well, shoes, sex. shoes well, for sex. men to feel shoes for men to look taller than they really are. Like, mind you, back in, listen, back in the day, men high heels were originally invented for men. Mm. A lot of people don't know that. Mm. I mean, like the powdered wigs and makeup and all that shit. Everyone used to rock that shit. It's been something that's been a part of human society for years mm. and years and years. So, when it comes to, like, you know, like, beauty standards, they've always been, for a lot of people, it's just been, like, right out of reach. And mm. then, this has, that, that's the negative effect that it has. So, my homegirl's over here talking about she doesn't think she's beautiful. 
because you know what I'm saying that she has you know small titties, and I'm like, baby, you don't need small, t- you don't need, you don't need big titties. Not with this fat ass right here. And I'm finna grab that shit like, mm, let her both hands. Know what I mean, let her know that I think she's fucking gorgeous, and I'm willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to you know be the person that make her smile. You know what I'm saying? And then you know mm-hmm. we made out a little bit or whatever, whatever. And then she went and got a boyfriend. I'm just but like, yo, what the fuck? That we what need to remember that. <laughs> but anyway, we need to remember that beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Exactly. And, and nobody has told you that you are beautiful lately. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel that that is a swing and a miss on the part of my gender. You feel me? Yep. And on top of that, on top of that, there is a, a, a negative side to that where men of less attraction, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a spectrum. Mm-hmm. Uh, a very ugly man can say, you look beautiful, and that's harassment. A very beautiful man can say, you look beautiful, and that's a compliment. All right, but at the all same right, time, right. Um, at the same time, uh, when it comes to, 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 to how a woman feels about herself, I do want to put that stigma right up the alley in the male's department because a lot more males have been just projecting this microwave version of of what they like ice spices and the such they're just mm-hmm. turning them out like fucking you know what i'm saying yeah, <laughs> they're no. turning about it the other day i just feel you know like I mean? us as men need to do and better that, that has produced yeah. what we now know today as little kim yeah because little kim was a ob- unobjectively very beautiful yes. woman yes she was because she wasn't told that enough look at her now <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna have fun editing this shit. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, you. that's how I feel. If you don't like it, hit me up at b u d d i e i z r e a l dot com. Oh, you shit. heard him. All right. shit there. Send all your hate mail. Yeah, I mean, yo, send, 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 send me that link right there, so I don't have to go back and like. What do you say? B u d d. Israel dot com. Yeah. So. All right, but like I said, all right, like, because a lot of it comes from men, and as men, we got to do better, all right, especially amongst ourselves. Like, like I appreciate all my friends that have been, like, pushing me on my weight loss journey. You know what I mean? Thank you. I mean, shit, shout out to those friends. Look at these guns, though. You know what I'm saying? Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, beforehand, I got nothing. I went like this, and my arm just stayed the same, all right? All right, all right. Don't break your arm jerking yourself off over here. Come on. Hey, listen, 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 listen. That's how, <laughs> that's how I know my arm ain't going to break. You know why? Because it works well under pressure, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then they pressure my spikes, eh? That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, but, mm-hmm. but another thing is, but in, but in the case of the story I was talking to, the criticism that was hurting her was actually coming from other women. Like, why would women do that to each other? Like, I don't, like, I don't understand why they would do that. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I just don't think you will, you're willing to go there. <laughs> but yeah, you do. And that's where I got to put it right up the alley of men, bro. We've been making them compete for our fucking attention for centuries. You don't think that stuff's hereditary? But here's the thing, the game done changed since then. It's hereditary. What are you going to do against DNA, bro? Oh yeah, God. you're right, you're right. But here's the thing. Built in. But here's the thing. But this day is... It takes listen. more centuries to get over. All right. But I'll tell you this right now. Nowadays, we we'll say we got, we got all these women, they go to get plastic surgery. And here's the thing that bothers me, is that some women, they was fine already. But it's just, just for me, you know what I'm saying? I can't tell I can't tell a woman what to do with her own body. As a man, I do not have that right. However, it just kind of it kind of hurts when I see someone who's already beautiful to start with, and they put all this extra unnecessary shit in their body, mm. and they look like a whole different person now. But that's what makes them happen, and fuck it, then whatever. But I mean, listen, options. that's the point I'm trying listen, to make. But there's always yeah, a friend of mine were having a having a heated. I, I don't want to say heated. It's not heated. It was actually very calm and very productive. Yo, shout out to my boy Ryan. I, I forget his name, but, I, but like I just met the dude. He joined Stoner Games, mm-hmm. and um, he posted something about a transgender. Now, for me, I, 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 you know me, how I stand on transgenders, but we won't, you know, dive into that so much. But we had this discussion yeah, it, about bodily autonomy. I'm sorry. 
I got it. You're super straight. <laughs> Even I find that insulting. Come on. Anyway, fuck it. Well, who cares? I'm not... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, listen. So uh, the the nigga, the nigga had his points on bodily optometry, and what I was basically trying to say is, is that that behavior is harmful because it influences. Now, whether it influences in a negative or it influences in a positive, the thing is, is that it influences. It all fucking influences. And it's not a positive thing to influence. Now, on one hand, we all have things about ourselves we don't fucking like. All of us. All of us on the face of this earth. And we all have that voice that goes in our head that, that just nags us about that one aspect. But you know what? We learn to accept those things about ourselves. We live with them, and we say, this is who makes us us. Owen Wilson, bro, an objectively very handsome man with a broken nose, chose not to change a damn thing about it. And that in itself, not only honorable, but made him the man he is today. All right. Can I, can I offer a counterpoint? Go ahead. All right. Not everybody's dealt the right, not everybody's dealt the hand that they know how to play with. So they got to play their hand in a certain way that makes them happy. Now, let's be honest. There are some guys out there that are very naturally effeminate men. All right? They don't like their body. They don't associate with their assigned gender. So they decide to go ahead and cross that line. And some of these people have found love, happiness, acceptance. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because they feel, they finally feel like they're their true selves. Mm. They, they let that inner person that they've been hiding their whole life out. You know what I mean? Mm. And last time I checked, the best way to live your life is to keep it real. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. now, now, granted, I had an argument with my trans friend once. This was years ago. Epic argument, too, because we was paragraph, paragraph, paragraph. And the gist was this. She yeah. felt that as a trans woman, that it is her sole discretion of whether or not to disclose that she's trans to a potential love interest. Oh, no, it is not. Uh, and and that's one finish. thing I do let not like. Let me finish. <laughs> let me finish. In fact, Ew. and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit this point right quick because. Mind you, one of the greatest threats that these people do deal with is that when they do not disclose that and the person they, they, they the other person finds out the hard way and some of these fact, people, wait, just, wait, 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 let me finish. No, I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. and they resort to violence. Now, I'm not saying, now, I'm definitely not saying that that is acceptable behavior. In fact, it I is feel not. that us men, us heterosexual men, I'm not saying you gotta like chicks with dicks, but don't beat a whole ass because she got one. You know what I mean? I hear that. I hear that. But can I can I can I just yeah. interject really quickly? Yeah, and, I, and I want you to that point. I got one. I got to get back to. But uh, I say that to say this: you went through all of that shit of bodily optometry, of coming out of the closet, of pushing different chemicals in your body to change your bone density, to change your hormones, to to, to authenticate. <laughs> and I say that with heavy sarcasm. I can. I hope you can hear the quotes in my voice. Uh, to authenticate yourself as a woman, but you are trying to hide the fact that you have done those things. I thought the fact that you did those things to be loud and proud about, to be out and, and that's proud the about. Point, that's so the point. You, oh yeah, that's the point I made in that argument. I was no? like, if I'm gonna listen, if I'm gonna be involved with a trans woman. I would prefer hmm. that she's openly trans. All right? Be proud of that shit. But the whole fucking, all of that shit was to be out and proud about it. Exactly. You're trying to hide who you are now. Exactly. Like, That's disgusting. Listen, and besides, like let's really keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. You being a girl is getting good. She's like, look, I have to let you know I'm transgender. I have a penis. That's when I breathe that sigh of relief. Because I don't got to ask if she's in the butt stuff. (laughs) 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 All jokes aside, all jokes aside. Keep it 100, do you. 
And that's uh, what these people are doing. They keep it 100 with who they really are, doing them. So I don't mm. like when people be like, yo, shitting on these people just because they're trying to do them. They yeah. ain't hurting nobody. I don't that's, feel that like they hurting nobody. Now, I understand how some people have the this concerns is, this about This is the point that. I said I had to get back to right after I interjected into your point. I, yeah. I apologize. Right. But the reason why I said about influence, influencing in a negative and a positive way, what I feel like what they're displaying is in a negative way is because there are countless, countless, and countless fucking stories of people taking that narrative and driving the most nefarious shit. Now, I say that to say this. If we do not, as a society, doesn't matter who you are or what you are, if we do not fix our hypocrisies, the nefarious will use them to drive their fucking points home. There is nothing wrong with loving a person, whoever you want to love. There is something wrong with changing yourself to be something you're not and then lying to someone that you're that you're this fucking person there's something inherently wrong with that i don't give a fuck how free you feel but well, let me give you a couple examples one just recent now we're gonna gloss over the ufc fighter man who crushed women's skulls in we're gonna gloss over that we're gonna gloss over the sports events countless sports events where men have dominated women in their own field but what we're going to get into is this transgender man trying to get into these sorority houses in the University of Wyoming and walking around visibly fussy. Visibly. Don't you, don't you mean transgender woman? No, I don't. A transgender man is a man with a vagina. <clears throat> I meant a transgender man. As in a, a transgender who has a penis. I refuse to identify them as women. There are only two genders here. And if you do not produce eggs, if you do not bleed out of your vagina once a month, you cannot count yourself amongst that sex. But sex and gender are two different things. It is insulting to them to the point. Also, I didn't even get into that point. I didn't even get into so the point. So let me ask you a question. So let me ask you a question. Wait, wait. Sorry. So, so on that note, so let me ask you a question. Sorry. So if a woman decides to go ahead, chop her tits off or whatever, take hormones, grow a beard, bulk up or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Well, you, you would respect that person as a man, right? No. So you wouldn't respect that person as a man? No. At all. Not even. At all. Ever. Why? Because they are a woman. Uh, am I am I having a fucking stroke here? Like, what is that? what is so hard to understand about that, bro? It doesn't matter bullshit. if you chop and you cut and you primp and you do whatever. You are not that. Listen. If I do all these fucking things to make myself look like a horse, am I a horse? If you want to be a horse, that's your life. Get the fuck out of here, dude. What, what, you, what you're saying is that I'm going to accept your opinion over science. I'd rather accept your opinion over a fat to make you comfortable. All right, first off, like, you don't have a grasp of what that science is supposed to be. It's the just the statements that you're making. It is just as basic as, Gen now, as Scientifically speaking, gender is a spectrum. Oh, dude, he's it's one a, of these it's, it's, people. It's a spectrum. <laughs> dude, it's a spectrum. Dang Dang like, listen, 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 and every advantage... Listen, 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 listen. So, are there other sexes? Are there other, listen, other, listen, other, listen, 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 listen. Are there I, other sexes other than male and female that could produce a, another living being? Intersex? Yeah. Hermaphrodites? The, so, th there's, there's a, a, a species of us that can do that? But intersex? Yes. Yeah. Doesn't there are. Lot, but it happens. There are. No, 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 no. That you have to show me. Oh, no problem. That you have to show me. Pull that up. There's a species do. of us that could do that. Listen, Reproduce asexually. Say, wait, hold up. Fuck. Let me move this shit over here. I know there's a species of amoeba that could do that. I know there's a species of fucking slug that could do that. But human being? What the hell is going on with my fucking shit right here? This is I gotta see. There we go. Alright, anyways.
All right, so people are intersex. They have genitals, chromosomes, or reproductive organs that do not fill into a male slash female sex binary. Their genitals may not match their reproductive organs, or they may have traits of both. Being intersex may be evident at birth, childhood, or later in adulthood, or sometimes never. This is coming from Cleveland Clinic. Yeah, I just want to know, can they produce themselves? Wait, but like by take themselves? their penis and take their vagina and produce another male or another female? Can they do that? No, they cannot. So your point is beautiful. So the point I'm trying to make no, here is they're, my they're only two fucking sexes. <laughs> you know? No, dude, dude, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, like I said, in any advanced level of study, the first thing you learn about anything is that nothing is binary. Nothing is black and white. Everything is shades of gray. That's because for science. That's how it's for law. Well. That is for medical. Mm-hmm. That's for politics. All right. That's for like everything. All right. Yeah. So first you got to get this two genders bullshit. I don't care who the fuck what. I don't care who the fuck your homies is saying or whatever, whatever. Yeah, get okay. that bullshit the fuck out your. I'm, I'm dropping I, out. All, all I want you to do is show me on this yeah. spectrum where yeah. there is more than two. All right. So like I because, said, listen, listen, so for listen. example, in in, in 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 the aspect of the world, yes, there is only. I mean, there is a uh, there is a spectrum of everything, but and we were talking about binary. Like, mm, I think that's what it's called. It's called binary. There are only two, one and zero. That's it. There are only two, so let me ask you <laughs> and a those question. two produce over time. All right, but here's the thing: string of code. So when it says when it comes to yeah, but here's the thing: there are times when there's children that are born without any sex organs. They literally just have a fucking pee hole. Are they automatically female because they don't have a pee? That's, yeah, that's 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 a birth. Dis- that's a birth defect. You know. You say, but it happens. So it does happen. So we're just gonna count that person that out. We, we that just, person that person can't exist no more. As male nor female. All right. You know? So if they can't identify as male nor female, then therefore it's no longer a binary. Well, no, I'm not the saying that. The word just came out. The word just came out your mouth, bro. If the person the is born just came out your mouth, you. listen, listen, listen. If a person is born without any genitalia or any significance of being, whether male or female, you can tell by the chromosome, yeah. by the XX or the XY chromosome, yeah. whether they are identified as male or female. You know what that's you know called? Intersex. <laughs> that's what it's called. <laughs> that's exactly what it's Listen, called. That's what you can I just show told me a story. You. And I will put Listen. it on SMH America and credit you one poll. Right. Until you can show me a story of a person Check by your inbox, nigga. <laughs> and two different, different genitals producing. Boom. You will right not there. convince me right that there. there is a third gender. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Nor man. can you convince me. Listen, you got <laughs> people. Well, listen, <laughs> you got people who feel because the thing. First of all, you got people who are gender fluid. Some days mm-hmm. people there's sometimes there's people that they want to be all manly, or whatever, whatever. Next day they want to be all feminine and shit. You know what I'm saying? Some people, dude. Feel, how you perceive the like world or how the world perceives you does not pussy. make you what you are, bro. It's not you no. are what what you are. Yeah, what you are, and I get it. That whole. I think, therefore, I am theology. But the truth be told, I'm not a dolphin. I'm not a fucking, you know what I'm I just sometimes I feel like I'm having a stroke when I'm talking to, to people on this shit because am I not making any sense? Yeah, am I? Well, what I mean is, but like I said, there are people who are born with both ovarian and testicular tissue. There are people who are, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times they just don't tell nobody. I mean, yeah. like... So even, even in a physical, because mind you, gender's in here, all right, to start with. So anything that has to do with the mind, everything's a spectrum. Autism is a spectrum. I don't know, not on my head, bro, okay. You know what I'm saying? Bigotry is a spectrum. You know what I'm saying? Everything is a fucking spectrum, all right? Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. But when it comes to the actual chromosomes and shit. Because gender identity is you know up saying? here, but your gender is usually down there. No, that's your sex. That's a whole different thing. Oh, sex okay. and gender are two <laughs> different things. And there are people who are intersex. I have friends who are intersex. You know what I mean? Sounds you know like mean? a good dad. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever heard of 4chan? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... But um, listen, okay, so I'm going to yeah. move up on the point of morality because, like I said, there. Are, if you don't fix your hypocrisies, then the fairest will use them to do fucked up shit. 
And I don't so, give a fuck how, feel, so how free you feel. There's just certain things I feel a line shouldn't be crossed, and that's cutting your dick off or mutilating your vagina. I've seen the surgeries. It's nasty. I so anyway, um, too. That's cool. so uh, um, moving on from there. All right. Um, ah, shit. Ah, it's, I'm sorry. I'm late, so I forgot my second point. We're going to circle back. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I> mean. <laughs> but yeah, man, there, I just for me, there's just so many things. There's just so many things wrong with me, bro. And I'm sorry, you will never get me to agree with anything like that. So the reason why it's hard for you to agree with anything like that is because money. for I've... years and years and years and years, while these people have existed, they uh-huh. existed in secret. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you know one of your boys that was kicking with you growing up didn't have a vagina the whole time? You know right? Uh, well, hey, cool. Hey, let me see it. Can I see it, dude? No, <laughs> Can no. I see it? Bro, we're homies, bro. Don't be like that. Don't be a dick. No, or I, do, yeah, yo, I see this, yo, I see this <laughs> fucked up ass baby. If my bro. homeboy had a, had a vagina, I, hey, listen. Nah, nah, <laughs> We've been down good, for a long nah, time, my nigga. No, man, I see this baby nah. right there. <laughs> they took uh, they took the god they had the gods they had the gods playing me, you know, drink hugging that nigga, but they turned to the Rudo. <laughs> it goes, when your dog when you're homing the Rudo know you're down bad, so he does sexy juice to let you smash. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta find that meme to put in this video, dude. Yo, wow. That's hilarious. Like, oh That's my god. Hilarious. <laughs> Yo, but okay, listen. Off the topic yeah. of transgenders, I may remember what I was going to say and circle back later, but um, you know where I want to push it, the hot button topic of uh, 2023, artificial intelligence. All right. That's where I want to go with this one, bro. All right. And you know, I'm going to get real political with it. I'm going to get real political with it. All right. And I'm going to preface it by saying, I want to preface it by saying that anyone who's fucking watching, I'm not a liberal kiss my ass it's the fattest part of my ass okay i'm not a democrat or any of that my political identity is social conservative fiscal liberal i have a bipartisan ideology it means i understand both okay and they're both right on some points and they're both very terribly tragically wrong Maybe over exaggerating, but like you know what that means he about to tell you some bullshit. This nigga about to tell you some bullshit. No, 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 no. But I want to say this, man. I'm gonna get real political with it because these fucking dickhead shit, dick shitting in the bed, Republicans, Republicans. I've been fucking us for the longest time. We all know. You've all known this for the longest time. Republicans have been the shill of corporations for the longest they've been the fucking the talking piece for corporations for the longest and since in that talking piece what have they been saying for literally decades mexicans are coming to take your jobs maria's coming to take your job jose's coming to take your job meanwhile ibm just fired everybody I wish, nigga, I wish I had that sound. <laughs> Let me tell you, boy. They did it, bro. IBM just fired everybody, nigga, and hired AI that can do their fucking job. And all these yo, companies are starting to follow suit. To my boy, yo, my boy just lost his job. Then they got in the mm. bar every day. And I know he just died mm. inside of me like, <sighs> I'm so sorry. Yo, man, I just, I just, little prayer for him, man, because it's, it's coming to that point, bro. <laughs> and you got to have to start getting ahead of it. Shit, why do you think I have my websites? <laughs> I'm making my prayer. You got to get ahead of it. And that's, see, that's something I was talking about earlier. So, like, like I said, there was a post that I, there was a video I saw talking about uh, the dead internet theory. Mm-hmm. And I got like eight minutes into it, and I just had to turn it off. I'm just like, look. This person is talking about how they feel the whole internet's fake and this, this, and that, and that people are being programmed to go on the same, like, five or six sites over and over and over, and whatever, whatever, whatever. Listen, it's not they thought those sites were popping, but you have a whole entire internet. No one said, listen, mind you, you don't have to go on Facebook. Don't put a gun in your head. 
You don't have to be on YouTube. You yeah. don't have to be on yeah. Twitter. All right? You know, there you are know. targets for all of them. Where it's people but, on all of them. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. I understand that. Yeah. But during the new days of the internet, during the MySpace days of the internet, yeah. nigga, that's what it was. You can go anywhere. You, can, you know what I'm saying? But the powers that be have set these search engines up so much so that they've been targeting these things so much that now, why would you go to anything but YouTube? Why would you go to anything but Facebook? So you have kind of have been trained over time to just go to these things. But here's the thing is, there's so many other platforms there that are, are that they're not around. Well, why would you go there? That maybe you just want to stick it to the man. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like <laughs> it, you know what I'm saying? Man. Stick it to the yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going to post all my gaming videos on Venmo or, or Vivo or whatever yeah. the fuck. Yeah. You know what's funny? <laughs> I had a crazy idea. <laughs> I'm going to take all these videos that I got that YouTube will not let me put up and put them just on OnlyFans. Oh, well, you know what? <laughs> Think about Where do it. I subscribe, nigga? Think nah, about it. Listen, <laughs> originally the point of OnlyFans was supposed to be another version of Patreon. But Patreon, well, but Patreon eventually was like, look, we're going to dead all the sex shit on our fucking website. And when they did that, it was just mass exodus into fucking OnlyFans. And mind you, so OnlyFans, Fansly, there's a bunch of sites like that. So OnlyFans ain't even the only fucking game in town. All right? Yeah. Like, it's just when you interject sex into anything. It doesn't matter what it is. Sex, when you interject sex, sex, sex into the it, internet runs it on sex. All of all right? sex. Listen, if porno wasn't on the internet, you think we'd have these big ass smartphones with them big ass screens? Nah, fam. <laughs> All nah, right. Man. Just think of that middle ground. Think of that middle ground when you're over here and you you got your iPod Touch because you're just feeling like me. You know what I'm saying? Or you had like 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 the Galaxy One or the first iPhone or whatever, and you're jerking, mm -hmm. you're jerking. All right. Thinking that damn technology is good. <laughs> This is, way, it, this is way better than playing Snake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The whole version of Snake, let me tell you. You know what I mean? Well, exactly, yeah, you're playing Snake. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, but, yo, I, I'm just saying, you know what? You know what? And uh, I, I, I sound like a prick. I'm, I'm going to sound like a prick right oh, now. And I don't mean to. Oh, wait, let me get but, the drum roll ready. <laughs> you know, cue me up, my oh, nigga. Yeah, I've got, no, I've, got, I've got to put it in. Let me tell you. I'll put I'll, I'll put that in, I'll put that in the next uh update. <laughs> I'm glad it is. I, I just I say that to say this, man. I'm really angry at the WGA right now. I'm really angry at the WGA right now, and and I'm being selfish because I feel like they're holding my attention. I guess you could say hostage. You know, there's a lot of shows out there that I'm really into, bro. I I, I like Stranger Things. I like fucking uh uh uh. uh Seth Meyers, I, I love uh, 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 John Oliver. I love that news type shit, the satire. Yeah. But because of the WGA has been on strike, you know what I'm saying, doing this whole thing, I, I can't watch my shows. I can't get any of my shows. And you know, a large portion of that, because a lot of these companies are starting to realize, we don't need these fucking writers. Give, give chat GPT a couple of months. Oops. And all these writers are starting to realize that Yo, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're about to kick us out, man. So we're going to have to, you know, negotiate something. But at the same time, all of these companies know that these motherfuckers have been using chat GPT to do most of their damn job. So uh, there's a conundrum there. There's, a, there's like a standstill there, bro. See, the AI has been really fucking us over, like, in a lot it of ways. Is. It is. So you know what that means? I think we need... We need to go ahead. Oh my God. Hashish. <laughs> we need to just say fuck it and put more emphasis, all right, back towards trade work. AI uh, can't do trade work. Uh, Listen, think of that old story. Think of that old story. That guy needed, like, the, the engine on the ship fixed. Yeah. He had all these engineers go through, go through it, and they couldn't figure out why the engine wasn't working. Okay. This guy goes, he shows up, 
All right. Because the first guy they had, they offered six hundred, uh, a thousand dollars. He couldn't do it. Mm. Guy, next guy comes said he was better. Offered him two thousand dollars. Couldn't do it. This guy shows up. He says, "I'll fix it for ten thousand dollars." Ten thousand mm. dollars. That's some bullshit. But let me see what you can do. So he goes. Mm. He looks over the engine. Notices something. Grabs a hammer. Smacks the fuck out of the engine, and then boom comes to life. Starts working again. He goes, that would be that's gonna be ten thousand dollars ten thousand and five dollars. Then ten thousand and five dollars, what what the fuck for? Well it's five dollars mm. for the hammer and you know, do what you gotta do. Ten thousand dollars because I knew where to swing it. Mm. You can't teach an AI that. Like mm. when we were talking earlier before I decided to start recording this, when I was talking about the the the, the, the AI, alright, let me just fill the people in. So we had we was having this kind of, we're talking about this earlier and that's what prompted me to start this whole uh, recording and stuff. But there was this AI that they programmed to play, I think it was like Shogo or Mahjong or some shit like that. And it was beating like all these like seasoned players and grand champions or whatever, whatever, whatever. But they put it up against a JIT that barely had any grasp of how the game even worked, and that JIT beat its ass. Because the AI did not know did not expect these unorthodox tactics coming from this kid. And that's 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 basically part of the uncanny valley. You know what I mean? That an AI is not gonna be able to be able to act on instinct to sometimes be able to take those risks to be able to be able to zig where technically you should have zagged, but they zig and it turns out the zig was the better move. You know what I mean? That was like the whole point of the um, actually I think it, I understand it was a dumb movie, but that was literally the point of the movie Stealth. You ever see that movie? Yeah. Uh I can't remember who started. I remember, like, who the fuck was in that movie? I just remember the planes. I don't know. Um, fucking, uh, 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 Jamie Foxx, um, yeah. and, uh, Marlon Wayans. Wait, Marlon Wayans was in that movie? Yeah. Hold on, let me repeat this out. <laughs> let, me, let me just look it up. Yeah, this part's obviously getting cut out. <laughs> All right, it's Jessica Biel. That's what I'm trying to remember. Josh mm-hmm. Lucas, Jamie Foxx, and Jessica Biel. Damn, uh, nope. You're probably thinking of G.I. Joe. Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes, because he played a pilot. Yeah, because he played. Yeah, because he Stupid. played ripcord. Stupid. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, that's fair. That's, that's, fair. <laughs> that's fair. Like those movies had a similar aesthetic. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. I can't blame you for that. Yeah. Yes, I don't like. When I saw Top Gun Maverick, and he was getting that. Did you see Top Gun Maverick? I'm so sorry. Playing these tests in the beginning, he's like, "Yo, that looked like to play from Stealth B." You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? Reference. You know what I mean, oh, there's nothing that's weird because yes, yeah, so I did a search for Stealth on Google over here, right? And which is people always search for go behind enemy lines, military shit. Yeah. Top Gun Maverick, military shit, but transcendence in her. Thank you. Coming for us, bro. Coming for us. Hey, guys, coming for us, bro. <laughs> oh, come on. It's, it's yeah. It was, well, listen, that's, that's the point that I, I agree with you on that. That it is a, it is a step up. I, I don't know. I, I didn't like how you phrased it. I didn't like how you phrased it. <laughs> All right, that's well, fair. you're right. It ain't four or five listen, sections. Phrasing is ha- half an argument, like half a statement. <laughs> it's phrasing, and the other half is tone. Know what I mean? Phrasing. So sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I can be off of my tone, and other times yeah. I be off of my phrasing. But you're yeah, you are point one hundred with the tone. It's just the, the fair right, you're, fair enough. Fair you're right. When you're right, fair you're right. Fair when enough. you're right, you're right. I gotta give you your points. Fair I gotta give you your energy. Fair enough. But like I'm I just said, saying, like you know, over time, over time, given the because this thing went from birth to being able to pass the bar. There are men out there now that are going to court for themselves, representing themselves malum per se, bro, and not giving a fuck because they have chat GPT. You know, which is fucking crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, man. But like I said, we 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 are in we are entering a new age right now. And it, it basically, what we do next is just going to determine par for course in the future. I mean, because the last thing I want to do is see everybody put all their eggs in that, you know, that AI basket. And then, you know, and, 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 and NFTs, everybody. 
Everybody gets NFT. I mean, hey, listen. At this point, I'm using it for its base uh, uh, function, which would be writing articles. I have it write articles for my fucking shit, and hey, I'm good to go. Okay, I don't, I don't really. But the, I'm telling like you, the most I use it for is that like I'll ask, like I'll be asking for like food recipes. I mean, just basically things I wish Google would do. All right, I mean. And then we get a lot more detail. Like, I was doing, like, math problems and shit. And I'm just like, can you explain, like, solve and explain how. And I put in, like, the the, 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 the whole thing. And it's like, this is how this works. And then you do this and you do this. And as I'm going through the instructions, I am doing it by hand. So I understand, I better understand the material and shit. So is that when that, that, next, really that next problem comes, now I know how to do it. I just do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got my head. You know I mean? Yeah. Okay, so we you you're in full cell right now, yeah. right? Yeah. So we were in the same courses. I was in a uh, uh, game development, <clears throat> and then one part of game development they had uh, this thing of uh, Boolean algebra, mm -hmm. which is the dumbest fucking thing of all time, because it's like how to make ice by Stephen Hawking. It's just, it's, it's just it's stupid as shit. And if you need, it, I, I'm you're not gonna need it. You're not gonna need it because you have to do it, but. At one point, I'm looking at this, and the rules that they were explaining in text was just overtly difficult. It wasn't even like... It felt like purposely difficult. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fucking uh, finish the... Because they do like a little example math problem. And I, I, I did the whole finishing of the example math problem. I fast forward. And I say, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stare at this problem with my eyes. And I'm gonna stare at it until my until my brain picks up the pattern. And when it picked up the pattern, I wrote these rules down and distributed it amongst the class. Teacher hits me up probably uh, a week after says, "You can't do that. You can't do that. That's not, that's not right. Ignore it." Because I know one thing, bro: women lie, men lie. Numbers don't lie. They're gonna be the same every fucking time. And when since my brain picked up the pattern, I, I wrote those rules and sent number, them out. I mean, uh, but comes back two days but, later and apologizes because he said he understood the pattern once he stared at it. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. So in a sense, that is our method. That is human method of deep learning. You know what I'm saying? All right. So check this out. Like recognizing patterns rather than fucking study. You know the the whole fucking all that shit. But here, but here, but here's the thing. Right? Two things. First off, so when it came to the Stephen Hawking how to make ice thing, there's a similar thing that I had to go through when I was in coding school doing Wazoo, how to make a peanut butter sandwich. And the whole point, listen, listen, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. The whole point is that when it comes to putting in instructions into your code, you have to be very, 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 very. specific. Or what you're saying, because the slightest misinterpretation can and will happen, and it can cascade. Yeah, like for example, when I was doing like for instance, so when it's like, all right, how to make a peanut butter sandwich, jelly sandwich? You take the bread, you take two slices of bread, you put peanut butter on one slice of bread, you put peanut jelly on the other slice of bread, you put it together, and you got a sandwich, right? All right, but who said what side of the peanut butter? And the, the <laughs> side, the Who jelly, said what side that you got to close together? So I yeah. go like this, you're going to be fucking... on the outside <laughs> and jelly on the outside here. Who said the bread? Oh, you got to be putting them sideways. Like, 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 it went like this. It went like this. It went like this. I can push yes. it all together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All those peanut butter wow. jelly sandwiches. Let me tell you, I know game design, bro. In substance yeah. to a degree, <laughs> but in form, in traditional form, how the fuck? No. So that's probably what they was going through when I was like, how to make ice by Stephen Harkey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because they want, it's, it's just like, because they want, to, obviously they take a figure that you know that if he's speaking on something, he's going to be very, very detailed and specific on what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. And of course, being Stephen Hawking, one of the smartest people to ever fucking exist, he knows what the fuck he's talking about. That's pretty much mm -hmm. where I think that was going. All right. Mm -hmm. The second thing, all right, is that me, I'm a hands-on learner. 
I gotta be, I gotta try it myself a couple times, and I'm gonna fuck it up. I will oh, fuck it up. But mm -hmm. once I get it down, ooh, I mean, I think that's why I like doing like cooking jobs so much, because it's just like, oh man, this chicken marsala is trash. All right, let me try it again. You know what I'm saying? Do it again. How's that? Oh, that's better. Next, you know, come back later. Hey, you fix that chicken marsala? Oh yeah, try me. They go ahead to get the chicken marsala, and they're like, yo, this shit is fucking bomb. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know why I said chicken marsala when I was really, like, in my mind I'm thinking chicken alfredo because mm. I still can't do chicken marsala right yet. <laughs> yet. Alright? Alfredo, okay. I got that shit down. And one of the cooks gave me his secret recipe, I was just like... Mm. Next time I gotta do a... One time I gotta do a, a kitchen shift at, at the bar, I'm walking in like, bird man, baby, just... This nigga finna walk up in that be like Bruce Lee. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Take his shirt off. It's like, zero, man, you gotta put the shirt on in the kitchen. Put his shirt back on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> We're like, yeah, nigga, I'm but I, I was just saying that. I just saying this. Like, like, that's our method of uh, deep learning. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my sauce. <laughs> Yo. Speaking of, but I'm saying like that's our method of deep learning. Yeah. What is the difference between theirs and ours? And the thing is, is that about How a computer the it does it fast. interprets input. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. You can't, we can't it's hook an AI to a webcam uh, yeah. and that put was the what point. you that was the point. Fast, yeah. whatever you did. We can't just put that in front of a camera and the AI yeah. is gonna be like, "Oh, I get it." No, you have to be. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. That's, right. that's, that's what I mean when it says that they're not really learning yet. They are mm -hmm. learning how to, they take input in order, the input that you put in to search out for some terms. Remember it, create a pattern. Create, find yeah. the pattern, find a pattern amongst that text, put it together, put it out. Because let's be honest, mm -hmm. like a lot of, a lot of times, yo, sometimes that chat GPT be saying some straight, like, stupidness, all right? Like, um, a lot of times you got to reread over that shit to make sure that you ain't okay yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I also have Grammarly. I mean, got to be real with it. That's why I have Grammarly. Nah, I mean, Grammarly's got to look through that shit like, nah, bro, this don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. This, this, let me change this. <laughs> yeah. but An yeah, AI checking an AI, nigga. I mean, simple as that, man. But that's the thing, bro. They're, they're taking a lot of jobs, bro. They're talking about pilots now. They're talking about pilots now, bro. It's fucking scary, man. Listen, listen. I am not getting in no AI plane, nigga. Listen, listen, <laughs> you, you won't know it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Get on well, there sounding like a white guy from the Northeast and shit. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> we're at a cruising altitude. Yeah, you know say doing that little, uh, shit, just to fucking get you going. No, 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 no. No, man, you go to visit the cockpit and shit, it's the fucking balloon nigga from fucking airplane and shit. That's right. <laughs> 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 Thank you for flying in front of these guys with us. Ah, <laughs> <it, shoot> <laughs> no, bro, why? <laughs> and it, that, that's it. That's exactly how it would go down. Bro. You know, <laughs> fucking Johnny Five sitting in the seat. <laughs> I'm with that robot from Rocky, and Ford, fucking Terminator, from Rocky though. Ford and shit, nigga. Yeah. You go over in there, it's a T-800. T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-
Actually, I remember that was on. I Dark said Fate. I gotta watch that shit now, that bro. Dark, yeah, that was Dark. <laughs> it was Dark Fate, and uh, and he actually no, he he did upholstery in drapes, mm. and he went mm. by the name Carl. Mm. And that is the most unassuming name. You're mm. a certified killing machine. My name is Carl. <laughs> My name is Carl. <laughs> you think I did do drapes? You know what I'm saying? How the hell is they? How how does he? But I thought Terminators had like the red vision and shit. So how how do you? Yeah. Think? <laughs> or that just at night? I mean, but I guess again, this nigga upgraded, bro. Hey, listen, he is he is a uh, a robot from the future. I mean, what what makes me think that this nigga can't fucking just plug in and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. <laughs> Download right. some new software. But just then, imagine they have been like, yo, the colors are fucking as crap, man, because mm-hmm. it's all red. Everything is red. All I see is red. I like it. Arnold Schwarzenegger is still my far, my most favorite, my most favorite person on the planet. Oh, because yes. let's be honest, he is literally, he literally lived the OG American dream. You came Legend. over here with not a goddamn thing in your pocket. You found your niche. You're making you know, money. Muscle, you're taking baby. care of. You know what I'm saying. Muscle working, you know what I'm saying? With the yeah. rascals, you know what I mean? Who's doing it? With a terrible actor. You, sir, are a terrible actor. But he actor. made it work. He made it work. But he made it he work. He made it work. That's what hmm. matters. They did he make it work. All right. All Can you imagine male, alone? Can, right. can you imagine Who's your dad? You didn't even get the what family you thing. You know what I'm saying? He even did the family thing. Like, he did fucking, like, family movies and shit. You'll say, who's your daddy? What does he do? Put the, yeah. say, hey, put the cookie down. You say, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for Sylvester Stallone. All right? You'll say, no. No. hey, 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 oh, this is my cookies. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't work. It don't work. It don't work. work. He can't wait for Chris Tucker. Who's your daddy? He goes, he's on the plane. 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 He's on the don't disturb my friend here. He's dead tired. Doesn't work. Well, you Doesn't work. Do it. It Doesn't works. work. Doesn't work for Forrest Whitaker. Don't, don't disturb my friend here. He's dead He's tired. Dead. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Doesn't work for Forrest Whitaker. You know what I just realized? Yeah. All right. I was watching. I was watching a documentary. Uh, I like to watch a bunch of fucked up documentaries at like six in the morning and shit. Like. I'm one of those people that are like up like overnight. Like I got like one screen playing like Star Trek Fleet Command. Hey, y'all should sponsor me. Uh, <laughs> all right? And, like, solitaire on this screen and YouTube on this screen. And it'll be, like, some like, I got halfway through a documentary about If you know who that is? No. You know what? Forget I said anything. You're better off not knowing. <laughs> yeah, better off not knowing. Like, I tell you this right now. If you watch any documentary on this motherfucker... That next buddy, Big Facts, is probably going to get you canceled, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Just I'm looking fucking forward to it, bro. <laughs> I stand on what I stand on like a rock, and for good reason, man. I wish, I want, I crave people to challenge me on what I believe, just so I know I believe it for good reason. And if, if a person comes to me with new information and an insight that I hadn't seen before, I am liable to change my mind. I am right, that just, kind remember, of just remember to check that link I left in your inbox. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Check that but yeah we'll, say, we'll get on that later. We'll get on that later. We'll get on that later. But anyways, yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I had enough of this shit, but I still want to see, I still want to watch something fucked up. So I watched a documentary on Scientology. Yeah. <laughs> Scientology. Oh my god! I just, I just, I just got what you just said. You That's hilarious. Said. Oh man. And that, so what's her name? The one from um, uh, King of Queens. Huh? <laughs> that chick, the the lady from King of Queens. She's a Scientologist. Oh, you didn't hear her story? No. Ah oh, man, it's sad. <laughs> I'm be straight up. I literally forgot where I was going with this. With the seg- I threw myself off of the segue <laughs> about. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, where the fuck was I going with <laughs> I'm going to put, you know what, I'm going to do some shit. I'm going to, I'm going to have a section. It's going to zoom in on my head. 
and then it's just gonna be like this, and then it's just gonna see like this opening, and it's just gonna be, oh, it's just gonna be shit crickets. Just. <laughs> yeah, I told Brian, that was a total brain fart right there. <coughs> Wait, let me. Fuck, what was I gonna talk about? Damn it. <laughs> you gotta start keeping notes, nigga. Well, you know, my, my, my mind, I, have, I, am, I, I am not a neurotypical person. The thoughts just come in, like, all right, it's like it's like The Simpsons when Bart was going to steal that video game, and a Sonic came through, like, take it, 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 take it. All right, that that that's my brain. That's my brain in a nutshell. I, bro, I have a lot of, I got a lot of topics and a lot of points I want to get on. Uh, and we, we can move on from there because I believe we started with transgenders. And we touched on the point of AI, and I feel like we, we've. I think we've we should just wrap this up and then do this again. I think we should wrap this up. I think we should wrap this up and do this again, like you know, for another time because we're about to hit an hour. <laughs> and I ain't I trying to edit more than an hour worth of fucking footage, <laughs> yeah. right? Like yeah. I try to bang these YouTube videos out. BT Dubs. If I keep my streak up, today is March twenty fourth at time of recording, so you'll probably see this on the twenty fifth or twenty sixth. <clears throat> By the time I get to the sixth of eight, oh, oh, sorry, sixth of June, I will hit one hundred days of consecutive mm. uploads on YouTube. All right, mm. I got something planned for that. Be there, or be square. Be around us, or be around us. All right. <laughs> I like that. But anyways, closing thoughts. Go ahead. Hit, 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 you know what I'm saying? Hit, hit the people. Uh, closing thoughts. I mean, kind of want to play that song. Closing time. You know, I never liked that <laughs> Last song. round for alcohol. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that song's more about, like, having babies than actually leaving a bar. It's about the oh. exit of party life to being, like, you know, a fucking parent. Now, the song they should use, it goes like this. You don't have to go home, <laughs> but you can't stay here. Hmm. Now you're making me mad. I'm going to have to swear. Hmm. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Finish up that beer. You're going to have to call it a night, old friend. You're going to have to... Get the fuck out! <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. why do they play that song? <clears throat> but anyways, to go ahead like and wrap it. this up because we literally are literally about to hit this hour, and I ain't trying to edit more than an hour worth of nothing. So, uh, at the end of the day, listen, you're gonna encounter people in your life. They're gonna have different views, different ideas, different concepts than the ones you do. But if you love and respect those per people, and you love and respect yourself, you'll take the time to hear what these people got to say, take it to an account, and that if you disagree, be nice, be cordial, and come through accordingly. But I understand they, that, like we live, we live in the generation now that we can talk things out. You know, we can talk and come to an understanding or agree to disagree. Only old people get angry when they can't express themselves through words and we are of a different generation so the only constant in life is that things change and we have to make sure that that change is done right simple as that listen it's a big world it's a big world out here if you're not willing to fight for it step aside and let us people like me and buddy <laughs> israel here do what we got to do so yeah. until next time Love, peace, and chicken grease. We out these motherfuckers like fat kids in dodgeball. Deuces. <laughs>